Welcome to our review on the use of biotechnology in farming. Now, the first thing we're going to consider here is a problem that we have in the world today, which is that there's a large number of people who are at risk of developing blindness as a result of a lack of vitamin A in their diet. Now, the reason they lack vitamin A is because in their particular regions that they're living in, then they don't have access to all of the different fruits and vegetables that we do in the UK. One thing that we can actually do to then solve this problem and therefore stop all these people going blind is to change the type of rice that they're eating. So we can actually use a substance called golden rice because this golden rice can actually be used to provide them with all of the vitamin A they need to prevent the blindness. And golden rice quite simply is a genetically modified form of rice. And you can see it at the bottom there on the left hand side, hence its name, golden rice. When we're talking about biotechnology, what we're referring to is the use of biological processes or living organisms to manufacture products. So this is typically genetically modified organisms, or you might have heard about them referred to as GMOs. So two key examples of our genetically modified organisms in terms of plants are golden rice, which we mentioned earlier on. Now, the way we make our golden rice is by taking a gene from a daffodil plant and placing it into the rice plant. Now, as a result of this, our rice will produce beta carotene, which the body then uses to make vitamin A when someone eats the rice. Second example is BT corn. And this one, what we've done is we've taken a gene from the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis and we've inserted it into maize. Now, what that does is it's going to code for a protein that's poisonous to insects. So that that means that if the insects then try to feed on the corn, they will then die as a result. And you can see the bottom right there, the difference between the non-BT corn at the bottom and the BT corn above it. So the last thing we're going to look at is the process by which we produce a genetically modified organism. And the first thing we need to know before we look at the process is what a vector is. Now, we use vectors to transfer foreign DNA to an organism, and the vector could be a bacteria, a virus, or a plasmid. So the actual process itself then is represented in the diagram at the bottom. So we start off with our little pest resistant plant. And what we're going to do is we're then going to remove the pest resistant gene using something called a restriction enzyme. We then have our vector, and so what we do there is we use the same restriction enzyme to cut the DNA of our vector. So what we end up with is the ability to then join the gene we want to the DNA of our vector. Once that's all joined together, what we can do is we then place that together with our cell and then we have this process of insertion. So we've got our useful DNA joined onto our vector and then that is going to transport it into our cell that we want to have that particular gene. As a result of that, then that gene is then going to be incorporated into the DNA of our host. And then as that DNA is replicated, we then have all of those genes in the new DNA being created. So we've ended up creating what's called a transgenic organism or a genetically modified organism. We can then clone the small numbers that we've produced in the lab to then grow large numbers of identical individuals which are all resistant to that particular pesticide. Hopefully at the end of this video you can now state what's meant by biotechnology and you can also describe how to genetically modify an organism.